Hi, it's Jan from the mountain. Glorious today in rustic Italy. Today's video, some footage I filmed just before I got sick. I'm giving a facelift to a knife block that I thrifted and my trials and tribulations with weaving. So, let's go. This is a knife block that I thrifted recently. Ooh, Mr. Darcy's on the chair. Mr. So Darcy. I'm gonna have to sit there. I'm gonna have to sit there, Mr. Darcy. Anyway, I thrifted this knife block. It's quite unusual. It's a curved shape. I'm just going to rub some wood oil on it. It's just a wood oil I picked up from a local DIY store here in Italy and I've done a little bit on the bottom there as you can see it kind of gives the wood a richer look. This was actually a new knife block because it was still packed with the packing which I didn't realise until I got it home. Anyway I've just got an old bit of rag here and I'm just rubbing in this oil. It's an oil to restore wood and it's for clear wood because this is a clear wood. You can see I'm just rubbing it gently all over the piece and on all sides and it really does bring out the lovely grain of this wood but I really do think it's time to put it on my cloth. I use this when I'm painting or doing anything messy want any oil getting my craft table. It really is something lovely to see when you rub wood oil on an old, well this is a relatively new piece, but pieces of dry wood and it just seems to bring it to life. doesn't take long. And it really does look like a completely different piece by the time it's finished. shelf and let's get started on the cheese knives. I just treated the handles of the cheese knives in exactly the same way just by wiping on some of this um, special oil. Mine, as I said before, was just for restoring scratch tables, but I didn't have anything else, so I thought I'd give it a try and it seemed to really work. So I'm very, very pleased. And there it is. Look at the difference. It looks very rich. You can see the grain. And you know what? I am really going to enjoy 
using my cheese knives next time I have a cheese board. I just leave it to one side just to let the oil soak in and then I can put it in its place in my kitchen. Just before I got sick, I was trying to get my weaving panels finished and to be perfectly honest, it was a real struggle. It was a project that was probably too difficult for my ability. It was only really my second proper project, I would say, and I'm still at the experimenting and learning stage. And it had been on the loom for quite a while quite a while and I was just struggling with the weaving. It was taking me ages and I was just demoralised with the whole thing. It was not a pleasure. I just didn't want to abandon it and start a new project. I wanted to see this through. So I carried on weaving. I got sick. I was um, confined to my room for two weeks because I was still sick. And actually, when I came out, when I got better, before I went to see my mum in Britain, I sat down, started to weave again, and it just seemed a lot easier. So I managed to finish my panels. Here you can see, I just there's a lot I'm doing wrong here. I should have wound my weaving on a little bit more so that I've got more space, but I found when I did that, I just, I just couldn't, couldn't weave. And the shuttle just would not go through. Look, see, see how difficult it is? It was just at one end. It wasn't, the tension wasn't there. I was completely demoralized. This is how long it was taking me to weave. And whilst weaving isn't, this kind of weaving is not a quick process. It really, it was each stroke, let's say, for want of a better word, was difficult. Anyway, I've just sped things up so that it's not so difficult to watch. That said, I do love the pattern, even if I didn't make that good a job of it. But for my second project, <clears throat> I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy with that. And when I'm more skilled, I'll weave some more panels. I wash my panels and here they are on the line, they have to be washed. So you can see the pattern. It varies because I was experimenting with different thicknesses of, of yarn. It's all done in cotton. And I did make a mistake where the pattern changes there, but I, to be perfectly honest, I just decided to live with it. A couple of mistakes there. And I've got some new weaving on my loom now. It's in wool, acrylic wool. I'm using up 
as a learning experiment, um, some of my acrylic stash that I was probably not going to knit up since I do my own spinning now. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe because it will really help my channel grow. And don't forget that notification bell to be the first to hear about my new videos. Coming up next time, a spinning and knitting update. And as I can't find anything to wear, I've dusted off my sewing machine and we'll discuss it, I think. See you next time.